These aspirations often reflect a coalescing of a variety of values head by, held by the stakeholders. Just below aspirations in the hierarchy of thought is the vision of the organization. Here the leader of the organization focuses on what he or she wants the organization to be in its future state. This vision is, is more about the actual business than it is about perceptions of the business by the stakeholders. The vision of an organization might be that the company will be the undisputed leader in research and development, allowing it to be a key innovator in the industry. Or the vision might be to be the number one or number two in each market it serves. Or to be the premier provider of insurance services to the consumer markets in the United States. The vision is usually long term and is usually a challenge to the organization to reach a specific long term goal. Now, organizations have an identity that it is they must know what it, they do. That is what the mission is. It is a definition of what it is the organization does to serve its customers and how it grows and or makes money. The mission could be as simple as we make automobiles for the broad consumer middle market. Or it could be as specific as we make semiconductors for the cell phone and the PDA market. It is important because many times organizations get distracted from their core mission and find themselves adrift in so much extraneous activity over here that they cannot effectively serve the markets that they had intended to serve. 